Man, I love that shirt. Uh, I love your work. So there we go. It's, it's, uh, I, I really want to start with a sincere thank you. Uh, I laughed my ass off last night, and it was great to see this. I just want to say thank you for oh. uh, making this movie. Thank you. Uh, a million questions. So I, I'm so curious. Uh, Spike Jones, when he's on set, is there like an unwritten rule that you can't fuck with him? Or is he like, does he, can you still go after him? The problem with going after Spike is anything you do to him, it's coming back to you tenfold. Like, yeah. He's like, I remember even, I, I've known Spike for a long time, like in high school. If, if I threw a French fry on him at lunch, he's flipping the whole table over and grabbing anything he can find and just hitting me with it. So he comes off as this like nice, sensitive, you know, intellectual tour. filmmaker, but he's real physical. He could be pure hell if you mess with him. So, but there is no uh, rules to not mess with him. Like, no, he, he gets it. Got it. So, so basically it's almost like people are afraid of messing with him. No, I would say I, we still give it to, I remember, uh, you and you, you mess with him the most. The funniest thing, like in, after Jackass three, three D after we were shooting the opening sequence and he's actually diving in the background of one of the sh uh, shots in the opening sequence, shooting paintballs at Aaron. Meanwhile, a bunch of other paintballs are coming towards him and he got grazed in the neck. And he's like, man, Jeff, I think I got hit by a paintball. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, he's showing me his neck. And I see him opening his neck. I'm like, well, it looks more like a handprint. He's like, what do you mean? I just smacked his <laughs> neck. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, what do you think would surprise Jackass fans to learn about the actual making of a Jackass movie? I mean, if they were there watching it, I, I think they would be surprised we get any footage at all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you'd be surprised how it all comes together. But. Yeah, the, how the sausage is made. It's like, wow, these guys are in charge. Um, but what they wouldn't be surprised at is like, what's happening is what you see. And it's real. Like, it, you know, like, it, it's not, uh, I guess it's not surprising. Like, you watch that, and you know that it's. Yeah, sometimes it, a lot of times we have tried to make it controlled chaos, but a lot of times it's just fucking chaos. And, and we kind of need it to be. Sure. Um, listen, this is one of those movies where if, if you had told me the movie was four hours, I would have been like, great. So um, I'm, just, I'm just curious how much ends up on something like this. Like, did you have a much longer cut? Like, will fans get to see an extended cut on the Blu-ray? Yeah. We, well, there's a Both. Jackass 4.5. But right. there, there is also a big extended. We 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 have both. Like, uh, yeah, because there's so many alt takes and just yeah, we use everything. So and we shoot overshoot. We overshoot by almost double. Yeah, like, right. Like we've been putting out a point five between each movie, and this one definitely has a four point five. And I always just gauge, you know, the movie's good as the, if the point five is as good as it is. So like, yeah. Uh, so I have to. So what exactly? What can fans look forward to on the eventual Blu-ray? More full frontal male nudity. Yes, yes. Than you ever wanted. Miles and miles of cock. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is obviously, uh, it's been 10 years since the last one. Do you think that this is, could it continue with like Jackass, the next generation? Or do you think this is like the, the curtain call on this? Well, sure, it could continue. Uh, will it continue? We don't know. We don't make long-term plans, but we do have fresh blood uh, with new cast members. We do have a ton of ideas we didn't shoot, but we make everyone like it's the last, so we don't know. Yeah, honestly, the, the only way to make these, as, as I think about it, the only way we can make these movies as if we're making it as if, as if it's the last one. You can't look down the road. You, we just leave it all on the floor. We shoot everything we can think of and uh, and it's too scary if you're making it and while you're making it thinking there's going to be another one yeah we're, oh we're going to save this idea for the next no it's like, like we're that. we're doing all the best ideas if you guys had oh I'm, I'm out of time but just real fast if you guys had like an unlimited budget and could do anything you wanted is there a stunt that's always been in the back pocket that you just couldn't do because of budgetary restraints god well we you know we kind of partner with paramount and and we want to keep the budget down. <laughs> well, the funny thing is we do have a couple. You, you, you had one in particular that, that became a little bit monetary that we're not going to say because we did get close to making it. And I would, we, 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 yeah, we're going to aim for that one. I'll say this. The, 
usually the more expensive the stunt, the less likely it is to make the movie. Like we'll set up these big elaborate things. And then that day we'll shoot wee man over here, kicking himself in the nuts. And that's the funniest thing we shot that whole day with a big expensive thing was just kind of a, yeah. A ruse to get them bored. So they start the spontaneity, all the spontaneous stuff happens. That's the stuff that I love, right? Like the stuff that doesn't take any planning. On that note, I got I to gotta stop, but I really mean it sincerely. Thank you for making this. Oh, thank, thank you. you.